But, uh, <laughs> okay. There is something that came across my TikTok feed. I'm ready. Right. I, I, I really hope you're right. And I haven't seen this clip. I hope to God that the two of you have not seen this clip yet. Pull up clip B and go to the EV window and play the, play the audio. Is it just the audio or just clip? It's audio. Yeah. Tell me what, what, what are people doing to my EVs, to my water EV? Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon yes, breeding, too. Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are in the field A group, which is- Hey Griffin, it's that video, animals, the Nox video. Vaporeon are an average uh, three foot that three inches tall and 63 pounds. This means they're large enough to be able to handle human dicks, and with their impressive base stats for HP and access to acid armor, acid armor. be rough with one. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that an aroused Vaporeon would be incredibly wet. So wet that you could easily have sex with one for hours without getting sore. They can also learn the moves Attract, Baby Doll Eyes, Captivate, Charm, and Tail Whip, I can't. without having fur to hide nipples. So it'd be incredibly easy for one to get you in the mood. With their abilities water absorb and hydration, they can easily recover from fatigue with enough water. No other Pokemon comes close to this level of compatibility. Also, fun fact, if you pull out enough, you can make your Vaporeon turn white. Vaporeon is literally built for human dick. Ungodly defense stat plus high HP pool plus acid armor means it can take cock all day, all shapes and- So yes! Why? So- <laughs> Why so, does this so, clip exist? So, uh, Nox sent this, and for those that don't know, Nox is Griffin and I's, like, fair dad. Like, to the point we call him dad. He's, Nox literally sent him a Vaporeon video where Vaporeon itself is it's, going over its fuckability. I don't understand and it's animated. people who have this much time to come up with Pokemon. Hey, Maddie, thanks for the shout out. For Pokemon porn, like I know it exists. Uh, I've seen, I've seen Pokemon porn. Like, why am I not surprised? Because people sent it to me because my favorite Pokemon or one of my favorite Pokemon's are Eevees. So that whole thing just was like, yeah, yeah, uh, I can I, see I, that. I saw it. I, I, I can see it. I I don't like that. I would be the cutest Vaporeon. I'm just saying. To me, that is so fucking weird. That they went into detail enough on a made-up character with made-up biology to figure out it could be your 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 like sex life. Acid armor. Would it technically be bestiality though? No. Yes. Yes, it's a it's a beast, it's isn't the shape it? Shape of a dog. She's a fox. Get your shit right. And she's a water fox. They pour it on as the gill looking Eevee evolution. It's not a fox. Eevee's a fox. And maybe it starts out as a fox, but it evolves into... It's a water fox. It's a wa it's and a then you horse. have a fire fox. And then you have a lightning fox. And then you have... The dark fox, dark the fairy fox, fox the, the light fox. fox. They keep adding their ones. No, I find But this... I still don't have a ghost type. Fuckers. I just found this bizarre. I thought it was... I mean, it's not wrong. It should be wrong. <laughs> There's no way you're telling me that this is normal thought process to think, I'm going to research if I could fuck a Jigglypuff. Are you going to fuck a Jigglypuff guy? Hell no, I wouldn't fuck a Jigglypuff. It'd sing me to sleep before I could do anything. And then it Are would take sure? all the advantage of you when you're and asleep. And then, then it'd fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You'd Jigglypuff get pegged is by that a... the hardcore hey, It's going to take that, like, that pin's going to disappear and out pops the dildo. You don't know where it's going, but it's going to sing you as it does it. I love my Jigglypuff. I got Jigglypuffs all over the place. Say, all don't do that to me. No, Jigglypuff is going to... Jigglypuff is in leagues with Ditto. And J Jigglypuff's going to have the Ditto turn into a, like... We're going way Jigglypuff. too far now, Pokemon. Because there is that rule. You could find porn for anything, and it disturbs me. Rule 34? Like, there was the time I was trying to find images for a 10 things list for uh, someone, someone on the, the show. show. And it was dirty Harry Potter, and all I found were Harry Potter porn and Draco Malfoy porn. Like, <laughs> um, welcome to the internet. I know where there's fifty bajillion images of all the characters from Harry Potter fucking each other, badly drawn with crayons. Ah, uh, yes, we will be talking about fanfics too. We will be doing dramatic fanfic readings. In fact, next, next week, week next we're going to do next, one. Yeah, next week you're going to get. Uh, I feel like I need to have Jill come on and dramatically read that because she was the one that introduced me to that fanfic. Oh, Lord. and I have I have dramatically read this fanfic from before. Uh, I don't think I did it on air, but it was my you did. Mic. Oh, yes, you it did. It was it my on mic air. check once. 
It was your right check once. And then, like, everybody was on the floor before the show even started. And then I got told we were going to, one day, I was going to have to dramatically read that fan fiction with a straight face on TV. And this I is said, her shot. bet it's never going to happen. So This is her shot. We'll see if I can actually keep a straight face. And I don't do the world of fan fiction. She's going to have to find me random things for me to dramatically read from time to time. And my cousin Andy's going to come on remotely one time because she is into reverse harem. Yeah, and I she's writing that. a fanfic about destiny. <laughs> so <laughs> I've been bothering her forever. And she's, she works overnight. So I was like, you got to, you got to come up with a scene. And you're going to have to read it. I used to write fan fiction. Okay. What was the process of writing fan fiction? Was it as dirty as you could make it? So I started out pretty innocent. And then I dis- discovered dirty fan fiction. And then uh, I became a dirty fan fiction writer. Yeah. I became the. You're going to have to bring some in to read. How smutty could I make this these two characters fuck? It's, oh, so when did, what was the point where fan fiction just got to porn? Uh, well, like what, what happened to I'm going to put myself and we're going to go on an adventure. Not, I'm going to put myself and we're going to fuck. That's a Mary Sue. I don't know. And I would still terms. I would still write myself. Like I never I have never written a Mary Sue fan fiction. It doesn't matter how hard I try. I just can't do it. I cannot magically write myself into a fan fiction. It just doesn't work like that. Why not? I don't know. I, I can like pretend I can be a character that's already established on the show. So like I can write what I want Inuyasha to do to me, but he's going to do it to Kagome because I can't. Why did I just switch your name with Kagome? Like, Griffin's going to be like, dude, wrong. I can't explain it either. It feels wrong. <laughs> yeah, because you're ruining something kids love and enjoy and turning it into porn. So when they go search on Google, they're going to find you like drawn, sl- split open. Mm. Just like when we did the Dick Fight Island show. Hey, Phil, vaginas still don't wink. Oh, Lord. There's I, did, I did tell people about that at fair like we were trying to break each other while we were passing during goddesses which is uh like this dance and i walked by and i was like hey guys my friend's husband thinks vaginas wink <laughs> everybody just was like wait what <laughs> i had a friend who thought asian vaginas were slanted like their eyes and i had to print a bunch of porn pictures to take him to work to show them no, you're wrong, because he would not believe us. He would not believe us. And so I brought oh. a bunch of pictures and took him to work and showed him. God damn. <laughs> Y'all, I have no qualms. I have no real filter. I have no shame. Um, he doesn't. I don't. He has like, no shame. I will, I will call you out if I have to call you out. I will do what I need to do. If something's wrong, I'm going to show you. I will show you vaginas. But this is why we can't have nice things, because they want to turn Evie into a sex toy. That's amazing. I don't why. That's fucking phenomenal. I will give them this much for the the dedication to figuring it out. But go I mean, outside it's and like touch Gar- the grass. Gardelia. They they want to fuck Gardelia too. I don't understand. It's I I don't understand the world of Pokemon porn. Y'all are just all on your own. I now. can't I can't like like I can understand the more humanistic Pokemon. But like the more like Beastie ones? Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Like the ones made out of rock. Like, what would you do with a diglet? Would it like pop up in your ass? Like, <laughs> <laughs> diglet, dig, diglet, dig, trio, trio, diglet trio. goes right up in. Like, <laughs> you just sit on diglet. Oh, wait. <laughs> I mean, have you? Wait, what, okay, I gotta remember what Pokemon it is. But the only way to actually sit on it, you really would be sitting on a spike. Yeah. Well, okay, we're getting off the Pokemon porn discussion. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> 